Because we are living in a material world. And I am a material girl. You know that we are living. What? What the? Why am I slowing down? Do you hear me, car? This is fake Sean Connery. You will not stop working. No. Don't break down. Not in this neighborhood. I'm completely lost. And no cell phone service? This can't be happening. Why didn't I take that Gandalf roll? Hey there. Oh no. A group of non-racist, totally not ethnic hoodlums. You need some help? They're coming this way. And these lads seem more like the type to watch Fast and Furious than Bond. Ugh. Hey, old man. What you doing around here? I'm uh, afraid I had a bit of car trouble. Oh, look! It's that actor, uh, Michael Caine. You know, it can get awful dangerous around here at night, Jeeves. Well, I, uh... Nah, guys, this is James Bond here. You know, um... What's his name? Uh, Roger Moore. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> you got a license to kill, Baldy? We're Jason Bourne fans around here, Grandpa. Yeah, your movies suck. All the clothes and cars and music are old, and they always hold the camera steady. Oh, leave him alone. He's gonna have a heart attack. A wet himself. Uh, come now. I'm not even the real Sean Connery. I, I'm the figment of a disturbed middle-aged kid's imagination. Wow. And he's got the, what do you call it, demonia. Uh, d dyspepsia. Dyscentia. It's dementia. And I haven't got it. Oh, a little fire left in you, huh? Let's see you save the world now. We'll give you a head start. Run, Englishman. I'm Scottish. Okay, boys, get him. Whoa, who's that? Up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. I don't see shit. Ah, Superman, is that you? Easy there, old-timer. You're safe now. No, not so high. I may be sick. Oh, sorry. Here you are, sir. Are you all right? Let's see. Nothing broken. Heart palpitations, increased stress, a little bladder release. But I think you'll be okay. Thank you, Superman. Oh, think nothing of it. We ought to have respect for our elders. That's where knowledge comes from. Uh, you tell that to those vaguely ethnic, but uh, totally not insensitively stereotyped street thugs back there. Yes, it is a shame, that kind of behavior. You uh, want to go back there and tear some heads off? <laughs> oh, no. Have their spines fused with your super cold breath? Um, not that either. Use your heat vision to melt off their genitals. What? No. Use your super speed to squish them down to half-sized writhing freaks of nature. No, sir. Use your super ventriloquism to make them turn on each other, raping and murdering with such abandon that Mr. They... Connery, no. Oh. You recognized me. Uh, but I'm happy to recognize you, Superman. You know, I'd heard you'd changed. Become petty and selfish like the rest of us. Well, I try not to be. I find that people respond better to a good example. To a friend than to a threat or fear of consequence. My, you really are the real deal. Come now, you're pretty famous yourself. Finding Forrester got me through some hard times. Those uh, Tom Welling years. Finding Forrester? You're the man now, dog. Ah, yes, that one. Say, do you want to go for a flight? Me? Uh, 
I thought you'd be at the local cinema, beating the tar out of Batman right now. Nah, that's not really my thing. You sure? Everyone else seems completely enthralled by it, excited to see who wins. I'm not really into violence myself. You sure? He's played by Ben Affleck. Hmm. Well, I guess I can see that. Still, I think I'll take a pass. Why don't we fly around for a while, just you and me? Well, yes, I, I'd like that very much. Oh, this, this is unbelievable. Yes, up here's where I can always go when the weight of the world, worlds actually, gets too heavy on my shoulders and just take a break from all my worries and just fly. Can you read my mind? Do you know what it is you do to me? I don't know who you are. Just a friend from another star. Here I am, like a kid out of school. Holding hands with a god, I'm a fool. If you look at me quivering like a little girl shivering, you can see right through me. Can you read my mind? Can you picture the thing? I'm thinking of Wondering Why you are All the wonderful things you are You can fly You belong in the sky You and I Could belong to each other Oh that sucked even in the disco era. If you look at me quivering like a little girl shivering, you can see her right through me. If you need a friend, I'm the one. To fly to If you need To be loved Here I am Read my mind Read my mind Did you, uh, say something? Uh, no. Uh, nothing. Well, we've reached an all-night towing station that has fair prices. I hope that's all right. Couldn't you just carry my automobile here? Well, yeah, I... If you want me to... No, oh, no, it's fine. I thought I saw a chemical fire as we were flying over San Antonio. Why didn't you say something? We were having a moment. Doesn't Texas have its own superheroes? Yes, but uh, they mostly shoot things and blow up women's health clinics. Ah. Well, I guess you'd best be going then. Yeah, probably. It sure was nice to meet you, Fake Sean Connery. Please, call me Fake Sean. If you're ever in need of help again, I'll keep an eye out for you. I have pretty good vision. Uh, about that, they say you can see through anything. That's what they say. Well, uh, what color underwear am I wearing? Let's see, uh, you... Oh, you're not wearing any underwear. 
I should have dropped you. <laughs> The Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine is published under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. So you can share the show with whomever you'd like, but you cannot charge for it or alter the show. Music begins. Don't that kind of music, you filthy bugger. <laughs> No, that's exactly what it sounds like when the disco Can You Read My Mind starts. It ended up not being a lot about Superman v. Batman, but, uh, oh well. Well, you you got your bit in there. I don't know, maybe like the Steve Extra or something like that. I think we've done that a few times. Right, but we should call we it just something. call it like Superman v. Batman. Well, maybe not. Because then people who haven't seen the movie might be like, oh, I better not listen to this. Well, what if it were fake Sean Connery v. Superman? Or fake Sean Connery heart Superman? <laughs> Dawn of bromance. Dawn of bromance. <laughs> Is that terrible? Or? Well, it's terrible, but I don't think it's not also good. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing we won't try. Never heard the word impossible this time. There's no stopping us. Cut it out.